Dudes, what's going on Pixar fans? Dan Taylor from DanThePixarFan.com here. So excited for this review. It's so totally gonna rock. Today, I'm finally taking a detailed look at the brand new Mattel Pixar Featured Favorites Figure 2-pack of the best sea turtle father-son duo to ever grace the screen, Crush and Squirt. Of course, inspired by Finding Nemo. I can tell you already, this is an outstanding set and I'm thrilled to be able to dive into things here with you guys. So I pre-ordered this set a few months back on Amazon for $21.99 and it finally just arrived a week or so ago. Now I've explained this featured favorites line over and over again, so be sure to watch my other reviews for my more in-depth overview of the line. But in short, the Pixar featured favorites line is a subcategory of Mattel's Pixar 7-inch scale action figure collection and is officially described by Mattel as a curated line for collectors that sell celebrates the ever-expanding Pixar universe of whimsical, unexpected heroes and funny new friends that have won the hearts of fans for more than 25 years. And there you go, simply put. Again, this is my fourth featured favorites review, so at this point I'm just ready to jump in without bothering you with too many details. Here's the packaging. I love it as always. It is the same as all the other releases, but now of course we have Crush and Squirt there in the corner, and the Finding Nemo logo above that. Overall, the inbox presentation here is top-notch as usual. Okay, moving along to the back of the box. Again, same layout we've come to expect in this line. We got shots of the figures, callouts to specific points of articulation. No accessories this time though, it's just the two characters included. And then a look at the rest of Wave 2, which includes Flick with Dot, Mike with Celia, and Bing Bong, who I just reviewed. So yes, to clarify, since I did have some questions after my last review, Crush and Squirt here, as well as the other sets featured on the back of this box, are all Wave 2 of the featured favorites line. Wave 1 included Russell, Mrs. Nesbit Buzz, Nemo with Marlin and Dory, and lastly, Linguini with Remy and Emil. Now, unfortunately, Russell and Nesbit Buzz have been delayed, though. I have confirmed that with Mattel, so just stay tuned for updates from me regarding their release status. So anyway, here's the other side of the box featuring some more great renders of Crush and Squirt, and that I think covers things as far as the packaging is concerned. So let's go ahead and slide these two right on out and see how they hold up compared to the other figures in this line. Righteous, seriously righteous guys, look at them. Um, I believe, I'm very confident that this is the first ever release of these two in this bigger scale as articulated action figures. Any figure release of Crush and Squirt in the past have been much smaller and for the most part pretty much non-articulated or at the very least have had very minimal articulation. So this is a real treat. Crush here is pretty massive. And as usual, don't forget, the backdrop is removable as well. Um, this time it features the EAC, or the East Australian Current, straight out of the film. And this is, once again, perfect to display your loose figures against on your shelf. And it will come in handy for all you toy photographers out there as well. Check it out, here's a photo I already took, and it worked out most excellent if I do say so myself. Okay, moving right along to the figures. Here's a little squirt, and I'm not sure that this could be any more perfect, guys. His sculpt, his likeness, his coloring, it's all spot on and very true to character. He's close to two and a half inches in size. And look at his shell, my dudes. Mattel utilized their digital printing technology for the shell instead of paint, so they could capture the look with pretty much 100% accuracy. And it's got a nice shine to it. Um, the eyes are printed on as well. As far as posability, he's got five points it seems. The head is on a ball joint, so we have a nice range of movement there, up and down and all around. And then all four fins are on, I think they call them um, hinged ball joints. So you have all kinds of posability options underneath here as well. Ultimately, he's as cute as you would ever want a squirt figure to be. And yeah, Mattel totally nailed it here and I couldn't be happier with the final results. Job well done. Now moving on to Mr. Turtle himself. Whoa, dude. Mr. Turtle is my father. Right, right. We have Crush here. I so totally knew that. And he looks every bit as outstanding. Again, it's so sweet to finally have a big articulated Crush figure like this. It's about two decades too late, but we finally got one. Look at all that texturing detail in the shell there. Mattel went all out with the texture. Um, I would have liked to see a little bit more color variation or weathering on the shell as far as paint, but Mattel did add a little around the edges, so I'll give them that, since this line certainly isn't known for adding in additional paint details. He's a hard plastic, but very lightweight. Again, just like all the other figures in this line. Um, he feels almost hollow, but sturdy and quality made overall. I'll just let you take in all the details here. 
Now, as far as size, Crush measures about a good nine inches tall or long, I guess, um, and then about a little over seven inches wide. Underneath here, again, I dig all the texturing that Mattel added to this time the bottom of his shell, like all these little scratches here. It's all just really well done. I also like, and this goes for Squirt as well, but I forgot to mention it, the speckled green plastic used for the fins, the body, the head. It's subtle, but it's just that little something extra that brings things up a notch or two, you know? Um, all the wrinkles in the skin, like near the neck and bottom of the neck, it's all nicely sculpted as well. Now let's go ahead and check out all of Crush's articulation. Since he is bigger than Squirt, obviously, they were able to squeeze in one extra point for a total of six points of articulation. His head is on a ball joint once again, so we can all appreciate that when it comes to a little added range when posing. Um, but then this time around, unlike with Squirt, the, um, the bottom of his neck is also on a ball joint, so that gives him even more range. Up, down, 360 rotation, you know the drill. And then as it was with Squirt, Crush's four fins are poseable. They're also on hinged ball joints. So honestly, this is almost the perfect figure for me. But the only issue that I have is that there are no display stands included. A simple ocean blue translucent plastic base with a clear rod would have been the perfect final touch. I mean, Dory, Nemo, and Marlin all got the clear rods and display bases so that you can display them off the ground as if they were swimming. And that kind of set the standard for Crush and Squirt here. Both of these guys could have really benefited from a stand and rod, and I feel like Mattel could have easily made that work, but no. As you can see here, you can stand these two up pretty good when you're displaying them by posing their fins in the right way, and it does look really decent, I'll give them that, but man, it would have been so much cooler to get these two up off the ground. Since these were made with collectors in mind, it seems like it would have been the obvious thing to include, since these are made more or less for display anyway. But whatever, it's all good. As far as what we were given though, beggars can't be choosers. I absolutely love the figures themselves and they will look perfect together displayed with the rest of the featured favorites Finding Nemo figures. Speaking of which, I know you wanna see them all together. So here you go. What a collection, right guys? The colors, the iconic characters, everything here looks just so incredibly good together and I can't wait to see what else might be coming. This honestly could be it for Finding Nemo, but if I could choose just two more Finding Nemo inspired featured favorite sets, I think a Bruce, Anchor, and Chum three pack would be incredible and a Mr. Ray with some of the little students included would be the perfect choice for this line. Well, what about you? Which Finding Nemo characters are on your wish list for this line? I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking. All in all, if you're a Mattel Pixar 7-inch scale collector, or just a Finding Nemo fan who loves these classic characters, this set is... Sweet! Totally. Yes, exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. A must-buy, in my opinion, and I'd suggest snagging it on Amazon ASAP before it sells out. I'll drop the link below in the description. And again, I also did hear that this second wave of featured favorites figures will be hitting Target stores later this month as well, so be on the lookout. As usual, I can't wait to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Later, dudes.